prep two. Now we will talk about unit two, lesson three, light reflection and refraction. Two different phenomena that occurs to light. Light reflection means the returning back of light when it falls on reflecting surface. And reflecting surface means not only the mirror, maybe mirror or a human or wood or whatever. And we have two types of light reflection, which are regular reflection and the irregular reflection. Uniform and the non-uniform. What is the difference? In case of regular reflection, all the incident light rays are reflected in only one direction, like this. But in case of irregular reflection, the falling rays or the incident rays are reflected in many different directions. So regular and irregular. Regular is made mainly by mirror or a stainless steel or a foil sheet. Irregular by skin, wood, whatever, any rough surface. So rough surface and smooth surface. To study the light reflection, we have to study two laws of light reflection. First, this light ray is called incident light ray, which is falling on the mirror. And this one is called reflected light ray that emerged from the mirror or produced from the mirror at a point of incidence. And we have a separating line which is called normal ray. So we have incident light ray, reflected light ray, and normal. Incident light ray, reflected light ray, and we have two angles. One of them is found between incident light ray and normal. The other one is found between reflected light ray and normal. The angle found between incident light ray and normal is called angle of incidence. While the angle found between reflected light ray and normal is called angle of reflection. The first law of light reflection, angle of incidence is always equal to angle of reflection. So for example, if this angle is 40 degrees, this one must be 40 degrees, okay? The first law. The second law says that instant light ray, reflected light ray, and the normal from the point of incidence, again, instant light ray, reflected light ray, and the normal from the point of incidence are all in one plane, in one plane, which is perpendicular to the reflecting surface, like this. They are all perpendicular to the reflecting surface or the mirror. If we have an angle found between incident and reflected which equals 120, all this angle is 120 degrees. So the angle of incidence equal, it must be divided, and it equals 60 degrees only. Okay? When the light ray falls perpendicular to the reflecting surface, it will reflect on itself. Give reason, because angle of incidence equal angle of reflection equals zero. There is no angle between the incident and the normal. It falls on the normal, so there is no angle and it will reflect on itself. Light refraction, the second phenomenon, the change in the direction of light when it passes from a transparent medium to another transparent medium. For example, when the light moves through air, then it moves through water, it will change its direction. Give reason, because air and water have different optical density. They have different optical density. What's mean by optical density? The ability of a medium to refract light. The ability of water to reflect light is called optical density of water. The ability of glass to refract light is called optical density of glass. As we see that the instant light ray changed its direction slightly because it moved from air to water. From a medium with an optical density to a medium with a different optical density. Note, when the optical density increases, the speed of light decreases. Again, when the optical density increases of a medium, the speed of moving light through it decreases. So light moves fast in air, slower in water, and slower in glass, because glass has the highest optical density. In this case, as we see, the concepts of light refraction, instant light ray, normal, Refracted light ray, normal and emergent light ray. Incident, the falling one. It forms the angle of incidence between incident light ray and normal. While the angle found between refracted light ray and normal is called angle of refraction. The angle found between emergent ray and normal is called angle of emergence. Angle of incidence, angle of refraction, angle of emergence. Incident light ray, refracted one, and emergent one. 
the refraction between different medium. When the light ray moves from a medium with a low optical density like the air, and it moves fast in the air, as we said before that optical density and speed are inversely proportional. More optical density, less speed. Low optical density, more speed. In case of air, it has low optical density, so the light moves very fast. When it transfers from air to a medium with a high optical density, it slows down. Slowing down causes the refraction of the light, the change in its direction, from moving like this to moving like this, okay? And in this case, it will refract near to the normal. Give reason, because its speed decreases. Because its speed decreases. In other case, when the light ray moves from a high optical density medium like water or glass to the air, moving to the air, the speed will increase, so it moves far from the normal. From this to this, the speed of light decreases and it moved near to the normal. In this case, the light moved from a high optical density medium, glass or water, to a low optical density one, so the angle of refraction will be more than the angle of incidence. It will move far from the normal. Refract is far from normal. When the light ray falls perpendicular without any angle like this, it passes without any refraction. Passes without refraction. Absolute refractive index, the factor by which we know the ability of a medium to refract the light. It's a factor which is known as the ratio between, the ratio between the speed of light through air to the speed of light through the medium. For example, the absolute refractive index of glass is the speed of light through air to the speed of light through glass. The absolute refractive index of water is the speed of light through air to the speed of light through water. A problem, calculate the absolute refractive index of glass if the speed of light through glass is 2 times 10 to the power 8 meter per second. But in this case, we don't have the speed of light through air. But we already studied that light moves with the speed 3 times 10 to the power 8 meter per second. So to measure the, so to measure the absolute refractive index of glass, the speed of light through air 3 times 10 to the power 8, and through glass 2 times 10 to the power 8, the absolute refractive index equals 1.5 without any units. 1.5, it's a ratio, okay? So there is no unit. Natural phenomena related to reflect, reflection and refraction of light. Number one, apparent shape. The pencil appears broken, give reason, due to light refraction. Number two, apparent position. The object seems to be at a higher position than its real position, give reason, due to light reflection, at a higher position. It seems for me to be at a higher position, not at its real position, give reason, due to the light refraction between different media. The last one is mirage, which means it's a phenomenon that occurs in summer, at noon, high temperature, on the roads and in desert. As the road seems to be or to have inverted image on a wet area like this one. It's not water, it's called mirage. Okay, why this phenomenon occurs? Due to the refraction and reflection of the light rays. Thank you for watching, I hope you understood it. And thank